Oh yeah, we got some coins in here. Whoa, whoa, hold on. What do we got here? Welcome back to our insane $360 storage unit. So far, every box we pulled out has been money. If you haven't seen part one, make sure you check that out first because you missed epicness. But for now, let's get back in there. Last time we were here, we made like 30 minutes of content and this is all we did. This little bit of damage, like maybe eight boxes, but every single box is collectibles. And we probably have 50 more. So let's keep on going, see what else we can find. Oh, what heavy. Woo, this is really heavy. This is where they keep all their gold bars, <laughs> right? Yeah. Please. No, I see personal pictures, hold on a second. This one right here, it's got some books Careful. in it. What? Broken glass. A really old looking book. Look at this. Ew. The best of something people. Let's see what it is. Oh wow, it's really old. Let's see if we can find a date on this. Where? 1936. That's a really old book. All right, let's set that out. I'm in our book on this group on Facebook for everything, by the way, like sports memorabilia, old books, everything. Use them to your advantage. There's people that love this stuff, and they'll tell you all you need to know about stuff like this. What is that? An episode of Sparrows from 1955, and they put it in a sleeve, which is kind of cool. I'm not taking it out. So, a book from 55. Let me get this broken glass out of the way or try to. It's broke everywhere. I don't feel like getting cut today. Over here, please, thank you. Little religious thingy. We have some old Time magazines here, or at least one, which is, will they believe him? It's OJ. Oh, is it? Yeah. The OJ Time magazine. <laughs> That's kind of cool. We got some vintage cookbooks in here. I always get told these are money. So, Betty Crocker. Oh, it's even a Betty Crocker, yeah. That's kind of cool from the year I'm not seeing it. Let me open it up and check because I'm curious too. Whoa, look at this. Mm -hmm. Just to be on the front, 1978. Mm -hmm. Is so, that Betty? I don't know. On is the it? back. Is that Betty on the back? Looks Betty like it. Crocker. Hey, Betty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what else do we got in here? Are these photo albums. It says our family tree. No, it's, oh, like, it's a pick the book you yeah, fill out. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff we give back. This is. I don't know what that is. Like a poem book. Mm. Our baby here, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be photo albums. Uh, more paperwork, what is this here? I do wanna see what this is. Cause it says bank on it. We like banks. <laughs> What's this? This is all their cash, right? The trust, the trust fund? Uh oh. I don't know. <laughs> trust fund babies, I always hear that term. Yeah, I don't really know what it exactly means. I always hear they call like rich people, you trust fund baby, you trust fund this. I wish I knew what that was. Uh, and now he's got more paperwork and books in here. So could be vintage cookbook money though, for sure. Next box says nutcrackers and they have done very well for us in the past. So let's see if there's some nice looking ones in here or if they're like newer. Oh, I see Charlie Brown already. This is gonna be good. They collect everything good. Let's see. So first things first, that's who that is, right? Yeah. It's from 2016 though, so it's not old, unfortunately. <laughs> Peanuts. 10 bucks at Walgreens. Still cool, still cool. I'm keeping Stop. that. And going from 10 bucks to 100 really quick. Dib. All right. Dib for my mom. <laughs> and there's another guy. <laughs> it's a police one. Hey, you know how fast <laughs> you were going. Um, sir, you pulled me over, you tell me. No, I'm not gonna say that. That's how you guarantee yourself a ticket. <laughs> Frosty. Aw. Frosty one. At least they, they look nice. Yeah, they do. They, I will say uh, one thing I love about this unit so far is everything is very well kept. Look at that. What's in there? Oh, it's, oh, it's probably old. I gotta say that does smell good. Smell that, guys? Mmm. Mm. Smells like Christmas candy. <laughs> All right, let's see what other kind of nutcrackers we got. Conor McGregor won. Look at that. Little leprechaun. <laughs> Who's gonna, UFC fans, who's gonna win? I don't know when this video is gonna come out. It might have already been out, but <laughs> Conor McGregor, I'm excited. Look at this guy. Did he talk to? 
Yes, he does. He's got an axe. <laughs> All right, he's got an older price tag on him. So it's gonna be a mix of old and new in here. I'll take out like one more and see what he looks like. Last guy. Ah, the fat one. A chubby one. This one's mine. <laughs> no, I don't really want it. <laughs> All right, you got any beef sticks? That's what I have a taste for when I leave here. So, higher box of nutcrackers again. Could be money, guys. Next box off the top. Well, that was heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Thought I was gonna one arm it. Gnomes. Gnomes. Oh, let's see what kind of gnomes we got. They have any gliders? They really, you know, right? Any spirit trees? <laughs> oh, okay, guys. If you don't play RuneScape, I'm so sorry for my dorkiness, but I'm never gonna change. Deal with it. Life be for who I am. <laughs> All I see is newspaper. I call shenanigans. Everything's been so nicely wrapped. He teleported. <laughs> no. well, oh, here we go. Whoa. They're all the same kind. 1985. Yeah. This could be a very valuable collection. It really well could be. I can't this... wait to take them all out and set them all together. I know. It looks like it's carved out of wood, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know. I mean... It feels like wood or clay, maybe. I would say clay. I don't just, know. just of how the signature looks. Because yeah, it the... looks like the pieces pulled up. It does. They have a lot of pack. They took very good care of their stuff. I really would like to know the backstory of this. How they lost it. Because everything looks high end and well taken care of. Look at that. Got a little honeycomb thing in there. Put them over here. That, some here. Let's pull this out first. This is like flat, it feels like. Look at this guy. He's chilling. Same thing again. What's his name on here? I can't tell. Ah, I'll have to look at them when we get home. Imagine we look them up and they're like $30, $40 a piece. We have like, what, 50 in, in the first part. Yeah, I don't even know. This is a big boy here. Look at that. That's yeah, so cool. cool. It really is. Is there like a coin in here? That feels like a legit metal coin they put in there. That's weird, man. But cool. At the same time, I'll pull out a couple more just so you guys can get a look at them. We'll go ahead and pack them up and move on to the next one. Hmm, look at this guy. Reunion bound. You see that? Yep. All right, one more gnome because I think they're interesting to look at. Let's see. And big boy. Look at that. You got like a pipe or a barrel? A barrel. That's so cool. So we have four of these things. Let's hope somebody in the comments recognizes them. If you do, let us know. I got the next box, which was also super heavy. Ooh, this one has any no labels on it, does it? It's a mystery box. I see paper, and I think it's dishware in this one. So maybe it's the English brand again. Oh, like this? Churchill, England. Yep. These could be Good money box. again. Let me just take a couple out, and we'll see if that's what they all are. If so, gonna pack it back up so we probably have a whole nother set. Boom. There it is again. Churchill England right on the back. So that's pretty cool. We know we got a whole set. Let's box it back up. The box I thought would be the heaviest is actually significantly lighter. This one says books. Maybe it's only a few older ones that they kept very nicely. Ah, maybe they used it as protection. Ah, it's got my finger. Bit me. Alright. Whoa. So we're seeing some coins. Oh yeah, we got some coins in here. Let's pour them out in this box right here. Let's pour this baggie out. Let's see what we got here. Um, clippers. What's that? A range servant, like a range token maybe? Um, I'm seeing just regular chains. They're not even like silver or nothing, are they? This 94. I don't lighter. know what that is, a lighter? Here's Motorcycle lighter? Uh, where's the flight car right there? No, but this is just regular tokens. These range servant tokens maybe are something interesting. Other than that, it's literally just a bunch of regular change. Nothing special that I'm seeing. 94 coins the year I was born, I guess there's that, but change. Now let's see what else is in here. We got this, nothing in it, white hot RX. It looks like a hockey puck thing or something. I don't know. Uh, this weird rubber, it looks like a waistband. Uh, what is this? Some glasses. I see a watch, maybe. Oh, a watch piece. And then we got a sandwood watch in there. Oh, look. What's in here first? 
Oh, just a little screwdriver kit. Let me see what kind of phone this is. Can I get it out of this otter box? No, I don't know what it is right now, but a phone. What's this? Ooh, Chicago Fire Department. Pretty cool. Hmm. This is interesting. Another watch, it looks like. What's in here? More tools. Ooh, look. Is that a knife? Oh, yes. Now I got one to open the boxes. Coble box cutter. I'm keeping this in my pocket right now. <laughs> No, hold on, go in my pocket. Uh, socks, socks, socks. That. The box has books, and it's like everything possible but, but books. Watch, more socks. Uh, screwdriver thing? Just a bunch of randomness. Next box here, it also says books, but the other one had no books to be found. But look what we have now. So this will be a little easier now. Let's cut it open. All right. Jeans, all right, weird looking books. How do you read this? Where's the words? I don't know, but they're Lee jeans. So, Poshmark, definitely. Is it all jeans all the way through? Oh my goodness, hold on, let me get all the jeans out and see if there's anything else under it. It looks like it might be, yeah, it's jeans and a couple shirts. So, jeans are money on Poshmark though, but we don't want to look at clothes. And this one also says books, and I can tell you by feeling it, this one feels like books. So let me cut it open really quick. Let's see if that's what it is. Pretty sure it is. We gotta make sure we don't see nothing vintage though. Put this right here. Like these books without sleeves. I never know if they're just missing the cover or if they're actually older. Ransom. Where's the D at? Uh, Danielle Steele only thinks a good author though. That's good. I mean, that's March 2004, so not really that old. Nora Roberts too. All right, let me see. I'm just gonna kind of move things around, see if I see anything that looks old, like this. Danielle Steele power play. The pages are kind of yellowing, so I don't know if it's just smokers or 2014. It's not even old. So this is just yeah, a lot of modern books that we'll look through at another time. Got the next box. This one doesn't feel as heavy as the last one, so I don't think it's gonna be busted. Let's check. Slice it right across. One down the middle. Close enough. I had that down the middle knife. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like books. Yeah. More books, but what is this down here? Okay. And a bear. <laughs> you know what we're gonna do with books most likely? We'll make it, we'll look them up, make sure there's nothing like super rare in here. But if you have a second in Charles in your area, drop them off, you get store credit. I buy weird stuff from them all the time. It's free money, so I'm not mad at books. So before we put that box away, we went in there and pulled out a few that were in sleeves, just in case they may be something that you guys recognize. Sam of the Minuteman by Nathaniel Benchley is in this sleeve. Same with this, sewing made easy. It looks older, definitely. And again, it's in this sleeve. Then we have this one, which looks really cool and old to me. Little Woman by Louisa M. Alcott. Probably just slotted your name, sorry. <laughs> but that one was in a sleeve. And this one I thought was interesting too. Check that out. Life Saving Water Safety by the American Red Cross. And the thing on the back says that it's from 1937. So again, some of these books could definitely be valuable. Old books could be worth a ton of money. This box says glassware on it. And again, I'm going to check it because the glassware we found so far has been nice glassware. And hopefully we just have more of the same Just cut. Why do you have to fight me with it? <laughs> Stupid tape. There's that. All right, let's see what we see. Oh, look at this first off. A Betty Boop lunchbox. Is that the ring thingy in there? No, it's these. They're little Christmas ornaments. I guess you put pictures in them, I think. Yeah. So, is that what all these are? Hold on out really quick. What does that say? Found this at a yard sale. Thought of you. Cool kind of people. So, look, this 2011, 2011. That one's got so many pictures in it already. So, we're just going to cover that up and show you that. So, Betty Boop box is pretty cool. Don't see a year on it though. Let's see what kind of, oh look. I see a wooden box. The last time we found a wooden box, it was a very good day. Whoa, whoa, hold on. These old leather buttons, I thought those were old coins. Scrolled me. These are all old buttons, look at this. An old bell. Bells. Weird, let's pull these out really quick. Let me just take one out, see if it says anything on it. 
check it out. They don't have a little thing in the middle. But I'm wondering, this is a far stretch now, if they could be silver. I don't know. We'll have to check that out later. But it's these, and then a lot of, it looks like older buttons in here. So, maybe some value there. Put this somewhere. I'm running out of room fast. Let's see what else we got in here. Definitely got some weight to it. What is it? Oh, what is this stuff? Check this out. Definitely sewing, some old sewing. vintage sewing. Crocheting. Wow, that's okay. kind of cool. <laughs> Nutcracker? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, look, one of these like old skeleton key things. That's cool. cool. That has a nice pattern on the handle. So, a bunch of, I mean, these have a nice price tag on them like $12. $17 and that's whenever they bought them they found you could have fluctuated hopefully that way but they don't know I'm liking this box what's this whatever it is just came right out whoa look at that $10 for a glass knife it's pretty sharp surprisingly it's sharp but there's the box it goes in so that's in the box ah, I just stabbed me all right, what else do we got here? I love these kind of boxes. They're so interesting because they have such a weird variety of cool stuff. What do we got here? Little crystals, look. You know what those maybe could be with the in go inside the bell? They look longer than the bells. Yeah. So I don't know. But cool nonetheless. What else do we have in here? A bowl, maybe. It feels like a bowl, looks like a bowl. But we gotta open it. Hey, look at this. We paid, this was $32. So, wow. There's another one in here. This one was $35. I wonder what kind of plates they are, or bowls they are. But this is definitely gonna be a, a lot of research type of unit. The research is fun, so you never know when you're gonna plug something in and sold these things on eBay and see like $700 and be like, ah! Never know. Let's see what's in this one open oh look it's all these keys that's so cool this looks like some medieval castle let the gate down there's three of them in here definitely cool little find here a lot of cool stuff a lot of stuff that you guys are going to mess with me about will be at a live auction eventually i don't know when now we still have a lot of fishing stuff to get through look at that does that say 2000 yeah the change of the millennia y2k the world is going to end right yeah. <laughs> I say it like I remember it. I was only five. <laughs> but I've heard a lot. This looks like very similar pattern to the one we just found that was 30 bucks a piece. So there's two of them in here, I think, too. Open, open. Yeah, like there's another one. I don't even know how to research something like this. When it has like no make on it, what do you type in? Glass with design. Seven billion results found. <laughs> like stuff like this, I just don't know how to even look up. You really gotta have like a specialist for like everything. All right, so like a Hallmark keepsake. This one is another one, a heart always remembered. That wooden box is intriguing me, but we'll get to it eventually. What's this? Looks like a wine glass. I we can get it open. Yeah, wine glass of some sort. All right, so. Let's see what's in this thing. This is kind of interesting. Why is it taking everything with it? So in here we have, let's see. Un One Nation Under God, Indivisible Liberty and Justice for All. Those are the days. Um, Avon, Jolly, Santa, Cologne. What is this? Whoa, look at that camera. camera. Brown Hawkeye camera. That's pretty cool. And the other thing in here, what's that? Is that a lighter? No, I don't know Parker what it is. Belt. Okay, a belt buckle. Then there's this little thingy. What's in there? I think that thing that I just showed you goes in that little case. So it might be part of the camera, maybe. This might go to the camera, I don't know. But interesting little basket, definitely. I love these kind of boxes. All right, what else? I showed you that. This is just paint brushes and canvas. Aw, well, shelf trolled. Open these last couple of papers up really quick, just to make sure nothing else priced crazy. Whoa, 24 karat gold bowl, you know, worth $700,000. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Hire me, A&E. Am I doing it right? Yeah. Some vintage paper. 700 easy. Another bowl. No, please don't hire me. I'll never accept. And last thing in the box is this. Which might just be another wine glass. But we're going to check. No, it's a gnome. Gnome. Another one of these cool little gnomes. We have to have like 50 to 100 of these so far. And who knows how many more in there. Hope they're worth bank. Next box here has like duct tape. So stronger tape. That should be cool. But before we do that, guys, you made December our most liked month of last year. Let's make 2021 the best year ever. So please take two seconds, like the video, and subscribe if you're new. Because we do this all the time. When it's normal. <laughs> Let's see what's in this box now. Uh-oh, I'm seeing clothes. I mean, it had to be in there eventually. But let's just hope it's good clothes. You know what I mean? Not all clothes have to be bad. The lash unit with had the shoes and stuff in it. My mom's been doing our Poshmark just to make extra money. We've cleared over a grand on that unit already. Nice. Easy. Fuck. This is definitely... Not close. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. It's a really nice... Is it a lampshade? Oh, it's a Coca-Cola lampshade. That's cool. It's missing one piece, look. But it's mostly there. So that's kind of cool, definitely. Let me wrap it back up in its towel so nothing happens to it before I keep going. I don't want to break nothing. A book. Um, towels, towel. Is this the bottom of the lamp, I think? It's gotta be what that is, right? Quite possibly. I think it is for sure. I mean, it's in I mean, there with it, so. Yeah, it's probably the bottom of that Coca-Cola lamp. Definitely a lot of like antique -y cool stuff in it, you know, without a doubt. And the rest of it is just towels and stuff that they probably used to pad so that top thing, coke thing didn't break. Got the next one here. Let's see what's in this one. A lot of heavy weighted boxes, man. Let's see. These are like the best kind of units when everything's nicely boxed, nicely packed, and just good. Doesn't smell, not moldy. Yes. <laughs> All very good things. Can you see in here? Yeah. Yep. All right, so again, they're using clothes as protection for this little thing. But look at this jacket. Let's make sure it's not nothing special too. This is Carhartt. These are good money, like probably 30 bucks or so used. So that's good. A little religious rock. A necklace that I can tell you is plastic right away, not even metal. This is what I think is going to be in this unit somewhere. I have a feeling we're going to get some coins. So let's pull out this big thing here. Come here. Come here. Ugh. Looks like something you set on a table, mm -hmm. like a brand, of course not. So we don't know how old it is. Also we have, oh look, there it is, money. Uh, a lighter, just a bunch of that, look at this angel, whoa. On a nice stand and everything. Don't have a price tag on it though, so no idea. No brand names either. No nothing. Nothing fresh to go on. Uh, that thing, along with this thing. You go on top of it. Oh, look at you. <laughs> oh, it's is broken. It broken? Yeah. Oh yeah, it is broken. <laughs> okay, so that. There's another one of these nice-looking angels in here. Look. Is she broken in the back? I feel like I feel broken glass. I know it's like a spot for something. Is it broken? I can't tell. I don't know. Looks like but something was there. Maybe Nice glue. angel. Yeah, maybe. Other than that, a bunch of lighters. Look, lighter, lighter, lighters, and just protection for the stuff. Pull down the next one. This one says kitchen. Is this where our silver set is? It's in there so. somewhere, right? Yeah. I think it is. These people seem like a type of one. So, open. Put that away. Now, this looks like more everyday kitchen stuff. Knives, spatulas, yeah, there's a bowl down there. That's just run-of-the-mill basic kitchen stuff. Not going to go through that one. Let's pull up the next box next time. Make sure you subscribe to see the next one. Peace.